Hi folks, so today we have a pair of these Bergwachter uh, Profi uh, 116.40s. I found them, I uh, spent a couple days cleaning them up. Uh, lots of uh, Houdini to get all the rust and uh, road grime off of it. Um, what we're going to do is uh, get a standard flex handled uh, tension wrench, nice long one. Get it as close to the edge of the keyway as possible. Get ourselves set up like that. Hopefully the focus will cooperate. And we're going to use a, a 18 thousandths Peterson short hook. I think that was pin two. Do a bit of a click. Pin three. Uh, gives us a bit of a false set. Now pin four. I'm having a bit of trouble getting underneath. So we're going to lighten tension a bit and we're going to go in with a half diamond. See if we can't get some movement out of him. Come on. underneath pin 4 there, so we've lost that false set. Really not feeling, okay, false set back. Now we've got some movement on pin 4, and there we go. That one's open. Now let's try its uh, brother, same model. Uh, this one still has the, the manufacturer's sticker on the side, so it's slightly better condition. And let's see how this one does. Same tools, same technique. Let's see, nothing on pin one, that's free and springy. Pin two gives a little bit of resistance. Let's see, can I get a yeah, small click out of it? Three, springy, number four, springy, go back. Okay, let's reset. Once again. Uh, while I'm just randomly feeling around in here, uh, I have a special giveaway offer, so watch to the end. I know this is getting a little bit long and boring with me just making a complete hash of this. Okay, we've got a bit of a false set going. I've got no idea what I set to do that though. I think that was either, I think that was pin 2 that we just set. Pin 1. Now, deep false set. Go back in. Let's see if there's anything else. Anything that will give us okay. Uh, the rearmost pin here is giving us some counter rotation and open. So uh, pretty tough. These things are definitely full of spools. I suspect they even uh, we can get some light in there real focus. Sometimes it looks almost like the key pins have a bit of spooling going on. Anyway, nice interesting little locks. Don't see them in the US very often, uh, but special giveaway challenge. This is my latest uh, challenge lock. I'm calling it the lucky number 13 because it is my 13th uh, challenge lock since I started doing these. And uh, it's got all of my latest tricks, and uh, it's definitely not for the faint of heart, so if you do want to give this a try, uh, let me know in the comments, send me a direct message, and uh, let me know where you want me to ship it. The one condition I'm going to put on this is that if you do manage to defeat it, uh, I want to uh, see you do it on video. So, until next time, 
Have fun. Happy picking. Stay safe.